Hi there. Today I want to show you how to use the magic wand tool in Pixlr to remove a background to make it transparent. Hi there, I'm Jamie Keat. Welcome to Teachers Tech, where I explore technology weekly. And as I said, I'm exploring Pixlr this week, the magic wand tool. It's a great way to take away that background. If you're looking for some other uh, Pixlr tutorials, just check out the card up in the top right hand corner and I'll connect a playlist there or check in the description down below. Uh, so with uh, transparent backgrounds, I'm just going to give an example with, I'm on a Google Slides and let's say this robot here has the white background and this uh, tower has the sky background and I want to remove them. So I'm just going to go over to my Pixlr editor here and I'm going to, this is a free, uh, free app if you haven't used this before. So I'm just going to go ahead and scroll down and I'm going to launch the web, the pixel editor right here, this one. And I'm gonna go ahead and open those images from my, uh, from my desktop. So I'm gonna open image from computer and I have a few different copies of that I've been working on with these. So I have robot one. Uh, so with robot one, what I wanna do is uh, remove the background. And now the simplest way to do this, and some people will say to copy paste over to a transparent background, which you could do that, uh, would be to just double click on this lock over here because as soon as I do that, that makes it so I can remove, when I remove the background, it'll be transparent right away. So the magic wand tool is right here and what it does, it selects colors of similar. So if it's all the same color in this case, it's gonna work very easily. So when I click on a certain white portion and just hit delete, it goes away and you can see that the checkered pattern behind it represents the transparent background. So it won't show up if I save it correctly and put it onto something like Google Slides. So I'm just gonna go around here and delete the places. Uh, the reason it doesn't go all the way around because the robot touches the edges and it stops the magic wand from moving uh, outside of those areas. And I'm just delete and in between the legs here. And there's actually a couple places on the feet if I notice that I have to uh, hit delete uh, also on. The other thing, I could hold shift down and I could keep clicking uh, and then it will select more areas at the same time. I think I have a couple spots on the other foot here that I need to get rid of. I could zoom up on different parts if you need to get closer and more detailed. Sometimes just zooming up will work too. So I'm just going to go ahead and resave this again. File, save, and this is where you got to make sure that you have it. Uh, you can't save it as a JPEG. You need to move it to transparent full quality, the PNG. And I'm just going to call this 1A now. And I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And I'm going to save it to my desktop. And it will save. So I'm going to go back over to the Google Slides to show you what the difference is now. I'm going to insert the image. I'm going to upload it from my computer and this was called 1A, open. And as it uh, goes in, you'll see now it has no background anymore. So that way I don't have to have that white square around it and it looks a lot better that way. So now with this tower image, it's a little different. It has a background with the sky that's not completely the same color. So I'm gonna go over here and uh, I'm just gonna close the robot down since I'm done with that one right now. And I'm gonna open up from my computer, the tower here that I have. And as I said, so before my last one, it was a solid white, so really easy to work with. Uh, with the magic wand tool, I'm gonna select a color. So if I slip, just click here, notice it doesn't select everywhere. Uh, it kind of shows where it's, uh, it just doesn't stretch to you because the pixels change a little bit, uh, uh, a little bit. Now I can do a few different things with it. I can change the tolerance of my magic wand. You can notice if I click on uh, different things, so I change the tolerance. Now I increase the tolerance and it just selected more area at the same time. So that made it very, very easy. You have a few different options to make it smoother on how it, uh, on how it connects uh, and how it selects everything here too. So a different way, I'm just gonna go back down. If, you, if it was a little bit more complex, sometimes you just can't change the tolerance like that. So another option that you would have, I'm just gonna quickly deselect this here, deselect all. Now you could also, being if you're using the magic wand tool here, I'm just going to go back here, magic wand. Um, you can also hold the shift key and keep clicking in a certain area, uh, but uh, in that way it will work too. So you can hold down the shift and it will grow as you go through. But for a picture like this, the tolerance it works well 
to uh, to to go ahead and use it that way. I'm just going to deselect again. And then I'll have it all when I raise my tolerance because there is the contrast there to so now I've adjusted it too much the contrast and look what happened it's actually grabbing part of this so again going back to this one and I'm going to bring this down to about here I'm going to deselect it one more time and now when I click on it you, I, you can see I have a nice it's nice and clean the other thing I haven't done yet is double clicked over here and now I can just simply hit my delete and I have a transparent background file save oops file save make sure you change it png i'm going to call this uh, tower 1a save on my desktop again and insert it in insert image and look for my 1a right here so it's going to upload it and you're going to see now it has no background around it so that's how you get rid of a background using the magic wand tool. Remember, it's more for a uh, cleaner uh, contrast. If it's a little more complicated, you want to use the lasso tool, which I'll connect another video on how to do that. And I'll also put a video how to superimpose these over top. So if you're using green screen or something, that you can uh, take an image and put it with a different background. So just check the cards above uh, if you want to access those videos. And remember, I do these weekly tech tips. And if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching uh, and I'll see you next time.